Need funding for your real estate investment deal? Longhorn Investments is professional, reliable, and fast. Currently serving Texas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Missouri, Alabama, and Indiana, Longhorn Investments LLC is a direct private lender offering short-term acquisition and renovation capital to real estate investors for both residential and commercial assets. With Longhorn Investments, you can receive up to 75% of ARV, finance up to 100% of cost, close in three to five business days, no income requirements, a streamlined simple approval process, and no prepayment penalty. Formed in 2008, Longhorn Investments has funded over 4,000 loans since its inception and includes complementary businesses, including a title company and real estate law practice. Longhorn's wealth of experience puts them in the unique position of being able to help investors throughout all aspects of each transaction. To get started today and see why Longhorn Investments is the superior lending experience, call and speak to Lawrence Hopkins at 314-749-7616. That's 314-749-7616. Or visit Longhorn Investments at longhorninvestments.com. Longhorn Investments. Hard money lending simplified. Universe. Media. Network. 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 Good day, investors. Today, on our first episode of United States Real Estate Investor Features, I'd like to introduce you to someone I'm proud to have known for the last few years, who is a real estate investing coach, short sale expert, a man with immense growing knowledge, and a thirst to teach others about the ways of real estate investing that can truly lead to financial freedom. David Randolph. David. How long have you been working in the real estate investing industry? Well, not very long by some standards, since uh, 2009, about 10 years. How long have you worked for your current company? 10 years. I started it 10 years ago, but I will say it's been full-time. When I started in real estate investing, uh, I went full-time. It wasn't part-time, work at your day job. Like that, I was uh, all in in uh, 2009, 2010. What compelled you to get involved in the real estate investing industry? Well, I'll tell you what, I was a successful engineer and I fell in love with real estate after a three-day conference where I learned enough to know that there are many possibilities in real estate to earn great wealth. And I, I wanted to start, you know, making large profits as an investor in real estate you know, so I could live independently of my stock market and mutual fund investments, okay, and be able to live a legacy to my children. You know, I have two two kids. My wife and I uh, paid for lots of real estate training and materials, uh, but each time they're kind of lacking in the actual documents you needed or were outdated by the time we opened them. So when we realized that if we knew how to renovate and sell houses, then we could do anything we needed, like wholesaling it, uh, or keeping it as a rental house, um, you know, not just necessarily selling it off on the MLS. Uh, we just needed the best way to purchase houses. Uh, so that's why we started negotiating short sales way back in 2010, you know, when, in the last uh, crisis that we had, right, uh, with the bank, you know, to buy houses at incredibly low prices. Um, you know, when we developed the tools and procedures uh, to negotiate short sales directly with the bank, and the homeowner, we found we could improve our results, you know, each time by avoiding some deal killing mistakes, you know, that other investors, you know, were making over and over. So we took a business approach to every detail and documentized it as we went along and systematized it, the procedure, and then developed, you know, repeatable checklists and procedures, you know, so we could always, you know, negotiate short sales with the bank, you know, really well. You know, we started to consistently make 50 to $150,000 profit on both rehabs and wholesales, okay? Actually make about $80,000 on wholesales. That's where you just sell it to another rehabber and you don't do anything to it. Uh, Gosh, just a couple months ago, back in July, wholesaled one to another rehabber uh, in St. Peter's for $100,000 profit. Uh, And these are, you know, both pretty houses and ugly houses. Uh, you know, and then what happened was investors wanted to know how I could sell them in seven days or less at list price or higher for the past 10 years. 
um, and I, you know, never missed a buyer's uh, lender's appraisal for, you know, eight years straight. Uh, so there's a lot of things that, you know, I learned over that time, uh, you know, and they wanted to know how this could be done in their retirement accounts tax-free like mine. So it kind of all started out there, you know, running this thing like a business. What do you love most about what you do? You know, right now uh, it's teaching other people to do what I've done. So, you know, for the past 10 years, uh, like I just said, you know, how I started out with it, uh, you know, developed a business plan, not just playing hobby, but, you know, you know, getting in there, doing what I was taught. That's kind of a key thing uh, with it, um, you know, is that, you know, then having those skills and people, you know, meeting them, um, talking to them, then finding out, you know, that I know this uh, and they ask me questions and I answer it for them. You know, now, you know, actually being in a position to formally teach them, you know, as a real estate coach, I see them being successful also uh, with it. And so that's really right now. At first for me, it was selling that house in seven days or less at list or price or higher for 10 years, Antonio. That was really exciting. But now for me, it's even more exciting to see, you know, people buy my uh, training materials or be in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program and start doing the same thing. So that's the, that's the thing for me right now that I really enjoy the most. From where you are now, where would you personally like to take your career? Well, I am trying to cut my 10 rehabs a year down to five so that I can start doing more uh, real estate coaching. And so um, I'm just now starting into, uh, you know, using the digital media that we have um, to reach out to other investors, both in the St. Louis area and in other states. Uh, so I actually have uh, five or six people in other states that are in some of my coaching programs. So a year from now, I'm really looking for uh, to be able to use, you know, the digital, you know, internet world um, to reach out to more people versus just going to the RIA meetings. You know, the RIA meetings are good, but they're limited to just those who showed up for the meeting. And so there's a whole world, as you know, Antonio, you, you are so much involved in the digital media and, and the marketing world and, and bringing people together like you've done in your magazine. It's amazing the, the, the experts and people you have involved in your articles and stuff is, to, is for me to reach out to other people and let them know what I can help them with to help them get out of their job like I have. Several of my students have left their jobs uh, under the age of, you know, 55. Uh, and so that's kind of where I want to be in a year. So far, what has been your biggest challenge in this industry? Oh, boy. Um, you know, a lot of people say it's money, and I, I knew right up front, I listened to the experts that said, if you got a deal, the money's there. So I didn't let that one hold me back uh, at all. So, you know, if you got to get hard money, you know, get hard money. So that's not really it for me. I think probably, you know, the biggest one is, you know, knowing, you know, knowing what you need to do and focusing on that. That's, that's kind of the hardest thing is, you know, you, 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 you want to do something over and over, rinse and repeat it. But if you don't understand or document what you're doing the first time, you know, then how can you repeat something if you didn't even know how you did it before? So, you know, I think, you know, what helped me was actually, you know, finding some education materials that, you know, provided documents, the forms with it, and then I could change it to my company name and I could modify them. And so the biggest, you know, struggle for me was, you know, actually taking a repeatable process and implementing it. And so I think you really just have to, you know, find someone else out there that's already doing it. If you try to develop this on your own, it's like reinventing the wheel. Don't do it. Take a niche or an area that you want to be involved in, you know, like short sales, and then just learn that and then just keep doing that over and over. Then when you're really good at that, and you're like me, I've got $3 million in my IRA, uh, leftover money from all my profits that my wife didn't spend. Now it's like, oh gosh, what do I do with that? So start lending that out. So that's a second you know, type of business that's out there. But focus on one small thing, I think, is the biggest hurdle that I had you know, kind of in the beginning 
was not just picking, you know, one simple thing like let's learn how to rehab houses, get good at that, and then the money flows, and then kind of go into, you know, other areas from there. What do you see being your next biggest career achievement? Um, I think it's really going to be um, the um, expansion of my online training and education materials. I have a website uh, out there now, thedavidrandolph.com, and it's not like completely released yet uh, with it. There's probably spelling mistakes, but you know, I think that's going to be my biggest accomplishment is to be able to multiply my efforts um, you know, through the ability to have you know, training materials out there for people to get to where you know, it's not that you have to keep coming to some type of live Zoom event or a live event. I mean, I was doing a lot of live events. I had over 150 people take my ARV and rehab workshop uh, just in that past year. Pandemic, COVID hits, boom, no more live meetings with those people. And so had to adapt to, you know, some type of online system. And that my website, thedavidrandolph.com, is my tool, uh, I think, to, to go out and be able to do that. What's your favorite way to meet new clients? Uh, you know, my favorite way is still the RIA meetings, okay? Um, you know, even though I'm going forward in the future towards digital and the Internet and, and, and bring, creating materials that, you know, people don't have to come to my office. Uh, it's a home office. It's not, you know, a real big fancy building, but it's a home office to come for a live event uh, with it and stuff. So, um, you know, I think it's going to be, you know, the ability for people to get to that, you know, on, you know online. Pertaining to what you do in this industry, what advice would you give real estate investors? Well, I think that, you know, uh, wow, what advice would I give? Um, I would say the first thing would be to believe and understand that if you find a house, you find a deal, there's, there's plenty of money out there with it. It might cost you a lot. I mean, hard money lenders are what keep this industry going because there's so many people that have bad credit or, or don't have uh, finances to go through a bank for a loan. Uh, they don't have the 25% down. Um, so I think the, the, the big thing is to know that, you know, you just need to find the houses, okay? Uh, and, and you need to pick one way. And, and that way I picked with short sales, which actually right now is going to be a fantastic way you know, if that's what you choose to buy houses due to the pandemic, the foreclosure rate is three times higher than it was pre-pandemic on it. Um, there are so many people in foreclosure now. And, you know, you want to follow the unemployment rate, not the newspaper number at the top, but look at the permanent unemployment rate. Okay. It's still rising. Okay. Okay. And so it is what's driving the foreclosures. And so while there is a CARES Act forbearance, people forget that every one of those people is a short sale because the definition of a short sale is the homeowner missed one mortgage payment. You do not have to have and actually don't want to have a foreclosure date because then you got to bust your butt to get that thing stopped to do the short sale. Uh, so I think basically you need to pick one good way for marketing uh, so you can bring in those houses and then the money will be there to wholesale it or rehab it, depending on your skill level. What's the most valuable skill or expertise you offer to real estate investors? Oh, I'd have to say it's teaching people short sales. I've been doing it for 10 years, Antonio. Um, I never got the memo, you know, about five years ago to quit doing them. When everybody else did, I, I, I missed the memo and I just kept on doing them. I do short sales on pretty houses that are eight years old with granite countertops and make $100,000. I literally make fifty to $150,000 profit on $250,000 houses here in the St. Louis area. Um, and so I would say that's, that's one area that I am very good at doing. I know what the banks need. I know how to find them. I know how to negotiate with the banks 
and I've created uh, workshops to teach other people uh, with it. And they've almost, they're pretty much have all sold out for the past year. Okay, even when I did it in a hotel, the hotel sold out and stuff. And so I can hardly keep up with teaching people short sales right now. Any current special offers or discounts available to potential clients? Well, yeah, I do. I mean, I've got a, a free video that, you know, if you think that short sales is something you want to consider looking at, I have a free hour and a half uh, video presentation that I made that I can send to you, including the slides that explains to you what short sales are, which, you know, I assume most people knew, but basically a short sale is where the homeowner owns more, or owes more on the uh, loan than what the house is worth. In other words, they can't sell the house and pay off the loan uh, due to various reasons. They could have other debt. And so in that short sale, that is a way to buy houses directly from the bank. This is not buying houses um, on the MLS, but you're the investor doing the negotiations. You're not paying someone else to do it. And so to help investors with that, I actually have a presentation I did for a local RIA group that explains what they are um, and how to actually get started doing them here in the St. Louis area. Now, if you're listening to this out of St. Louis, uh, you know, you can also contact me and I'll show you the corresponding method there, but it all applies. And so if anybody would like to have that free presentation and slides, all I need to do is just text me the word short, S-H-O-R-T. Just text short to 636 685 2990. I'll repeat that. Just text the word short to 636 685 2990 and watch that and see if that doesn't get you excited. Maybe you uh, just answered this, but if people are interested in working with you, how can you be contacted? Uh, you can contact me on that same number. Give me a call, uh, send me a text message. Uh, you know, 636-685-2990. Call up and let's talk. Tell me what you're doing. Be glad to help you out. Um, if you think short sales are something you want to do, then text that word short to it. Um, you can also go to my website, thedavidrandolph.com. Uh, there's also uh, other things you can look at around there. So that's probably the, the best way to get a hold of me. Finally, David, what do you feel is the most vital lesson you've learned in your career? Oh, it is absolutely building relationships with other investors. No doubt about it. Okay, you meet other people and you ask them questions and you learn from them. They ask you something and if you know it, then you answer them. You give away everything you've got to get back so much more. Okay, that's, that's the biggest, biggest thing that I think is to build relationships with other investors. You hear some of the experienced investors say, I don't even do any more marketing because people bring me deals. Start building those relationships, you know, right now. Investors, I hope you've enjoyed my conversation with David Randolph. Please see this episode's show notes for all of David's contact information. Please do us a huge favor by rating, reviewing, following, and subscribing to our podcast content on your favorite podcast app. To find more great real estate investing content like this, as well as create new valuable industry relationships, please visit UnitedStatesRealEstateInvestor.com. Thanks for listening and stay successful. If you or your organization would like to be featured, please contact us at United States Real Estate Investor.com.